Okay, start the recording. And uh, I will leave the floor now um, to my colleagues, Emmanuel George and Raffaella Balzarini from IRAE. Uh, meanwhile, I remind to all of you that appear, still appear as Valentina Longhi to please rename yourself because we need to divide you into subgroups. And that is really important for us to know who you are. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Stefano, and welcome to um, all of you for this second webinar of Transstat Project. Transstat Project is for transition to sustainable ski tourism in the Alps of tomorrow. And before giving some uh, key points about the project, I want to thank a lot the organizer of this second webinar. I think uh, uh, of Anne-Marie, Leonie, Stefano, Margarita, um, Valentina and also Rafaela, because they work a lot to organize this uh, webinar. So thanks uh, a lot for, for that. Um, I want to give you a key points about uh, Transstat project and especially uh, a work in progress of the, the project. And after, uh, Rafaela will explain the objective of the webinar and the organization of the content of the webinar. So, uh, sorry, Rafaela. Yes, uh, Transstat project is um, an interact program, and we are integrated in the priority one uh, with the goal of uh, support to climate resilient and green alpine region. And the main uh, object of the Transstat project is ski resort and mountain resort faced to the global change. About Transstat, the project will implement and will uh, um, use and mobilize the participatory and inclusive approach in the mountain resort. We consider mountain resort as living lab, and the goal is to integrate all stakeholders. We think uh, about public and private actors, but we want also to take into account the inhabitant and perhaps tourists when it's possible. And so we want to have this participatory approach. The second point is to mobilize a systemic approach. So uh, in the diagnosis and the analysis of the mountain resorts, we use the uh, economic, social, and environmental dimension, but also we want to take into account the governance systems in the mountain resort in order to have this systemic and global approach of the mountain resort. The last point is uh, with trans Transstat project, we create a physical and digital network of the mountain resort involved in the project. And so we have a deep work with this mountain resort, with the stakeholders, all along the project, so during the three years of the project. To answer this objective for Transstat project, this is the next slide, please, Rafael. Uh, yes, sorry, I'm trying to change but it doesn't work so just a moment please yeah mm. okay so thanks okay yes. oh. uh, uh, yeah <laughs> So uh, in terms of organization of the project, we have three work package. So the first work package is under, uh, one is under responsibility of Austrian colleagues and is focused on uh, the development of all participatory and inclusive tools. And so this webinar is integrated in this uh, work package one. And so uh, the goal is to uh, um, develop and also to uh, disseminate this tool to the all the mountain resort in order to use it to experiment them and after to add some feedbacks to uh, the um, Transstat project. The second work package too is under um, our responsibility of INRAE and uh, the goal of this uh, work package too is uh, to work uh, with the mountain resort, uh, so with the 10 ski resort, in order to have a, a deep work about the main stakes of transition in each living lab, 
to uh, uh, elaborate a territorial diagnosis, a participatory diagnosis inside each uh, living lab and after also to co-build scenario uh, with this um, mountain result. And so it's an important work uh, inside the, the living lab all along the, the project. And um, the last work package under responsibility of Slovenian partners deals with the policy recommendation uh, in terms of transition. And the goal is to uh, uh, write some policy recommendation at different levels, at the level of the mountain resort itself, and also at the level of the Alpine region in order to support transition pathway for the future. And I explain you that uh, we create a network of living lab. And so you can see on this map, the name of uh, the uh, mountain resort involved in the project and um, in five uh, countries. And um, this uh, network, um, and its main characteristic is that we want to integrate uh, a diversity of mountain resorts. So we have some uh, uh, little ski resort, but also more important uh, ski resort. And so there is the diversity uh, of uh, ski resort inside the network. But in the same time, and this is the next slide. Yes. Um, all through their, their physical or socio-economical configuration are very different. In fact, the network and this territory share common uh, patterns in terms of uh, change factor and driving forces. For example, the climate change, and uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, ski resort uh, impacted or confronted to this uh, climate change, and especially with the reduction of uh, uh, snow cover, for example, Maniva, Saint-Pierre de Chartreuse, um, in especially. Uh, the second um, uh, factor of change uh, concerning the energy prices uh, with the question of cost, and especially in Slovenia and uh, with Kranjska Gora and Grossos Vazortal in Austria. Uh, the, another characteristic uh, deals with the question of labor market because we have a different ski resort concerning by this uh, factor of change like uh, so Selva region or Mojev, where we uh, observe um, a question of uh, labor market, but also a stakes about the uh, dynamics, uh, the demographic dynamics with a reduction of population, for example. And the last point concerning governance, but I think it's uh, a dimension concerning all uh, mountain resort inside the network. So this is the some key points about the Transat project for people who weren't be there at the first webinar. And I will let the floor to Rafaela, which will uh, follow with the uh, explanation of the objective of the, this webinar. Yes, thank you, Emmanuel. So um, uh, let's have a look now on how does uh, our project work to design transition in mountain uh, resorts. So um, while taking into account the diversity of our uh, living lab, the project experiments with the design of a dog transition path by implementing a common four steps uh, methodology. Uh, so the first one is to prepare and design participatory transition method in these areas. The second one is to identify the global and the specific driver of change. The second, as Emmanuel was, uh, the third, uh, as she was uh, explaining, and we are exactly now in this uh, in this moment, uh, to develop uh, a diagnostic method based on a territorial systemic approach, able to make cross analysis on governance, business model, social system, sports and tourism practices, climate and biodiversity. And the first step is the design of, of inclusive scenery of desired future. They can be graphic, geographic or thematic in, uh, in the form to be co-built um, within the living labs in this in participative workshop. So this methodology is applied to the 10 living lab 
So to be able to identify elements of uh, comparison or divergence, both at the national level and at the scale of the Alpine range. Um, these steps start in a chronological order on the project time plan, but they are iterative and feed into each other over the entire project. And today uh, we are giving you an overview of how we work on the first two steps. Okay, so we are talking about living lab that are, uh, that uh, yes, that we consider a tool for participation and uh, inclusiveness for the territory. And of course, for us uh, in the context of ski resort. So uh, very quickly, we, we can, we state that uh, living labs are collaborative platform in which research, government, business and citizen work together. They are tagged to co-creation they are engaged in an iterative process of experimentation and learning from year to year. Of course, they bring together different era of expertise and um, they provide space, space that can be, um, uh, they can be urban or, or uh, natural, digital or real, outdoor or indoor. And uh, Within a whole uh, mass of definition, we retain a Gamache who argued that the transition process uh, can be built around the creative capacity of people living in a territory. And uh, this is a localized approach where the most important thing is to create condition um, that allow people to explore new paths outside uh, a dominant system. And uh, for Gamache, Transition involves a transformation of the relationship between people and their environment. So uh, based on this statement, the first step of our methodology correspond to the work carried out in the work package one and provide concrete guidelines on how to work uh, in Living Lab. So we have seen what we mean by Territorial Living Lab, but uh, um, in, in a real world, we can't work with the whole population of a community, even if we do have a moment of public uh, exchange. So we can work with a group representative of all the sphere of this population, what we call uh, the core group, whose number can vary between 7 and 15 uh, people. So to create these core groups, um, we conduct interviews and uh, we apply um, the social network analysis, uh, analysis technique to identify, that allows us to identify uh, the central nodes and the typology of relationship in our community. And this, of course, as a consequence, help us to identify um, the people that are most involved or uh, most likely to get involved. And of course, a dose of common sense also guide us in choosing and inviting people to join the core groups. Here you can see in the picture, you can see an example of SNR for Kranishka Gora. So the color dot are the nodes and the different color represent different entities. So public or private or, or uh, business, et cetera. And the thickness of the green, uh, the gray line uh, indicates um, the, the intensity of the relationship. Okay, so, um, okay, so uh, that's, uh, uh, yes, I would like just to add that the core groups uh, are really the pillars uh, of our approach. And uh, along the way, and over this three year period of the project, we work together to build transition paths uh, for their territories. Uh, okay, the second step in our methodology is also part of work package one work and concern the, the real first action that we engage in with our Limit Labs, that is identifying their specific driving forces. Yes, but let's figure out what we are talking about. So 
driving force is the main factor that uh, causes something to happen. And uh, in uh, donkey, in relation to the to the ski resort and the community in the mountain, in our case, in the Alps, are factors of change that initiate, influence, and shape the transition of these regions. Uh, is it clear that they include climate change, demographic changes, innovation, social, and cultural shift? But to delve deeper uh, into this notion, we conducted an international literature review and delivered a compilation of the driving forces relevant to the major transformative uh, dimension. And you can see here, I just show you immediately. Uh, you can see here uh, a graphic representation um, that organized the 23 driving forces into three main uh, thematic categories, but also uh, the megatrends that are long-term transformative changes uh, in society uh, that have a broad and lasting, lasting impact of many, on many aspects of, uh, uh, of life. Um, and these trends are typically driven by a combination of social, economic, technological, et cetera, uh, drivers. Um, we underline that understanding and strategically responding to these driving forces is an essential for mountain ski resorts. Um, they are seeking to move successfully through their transition. So let's go now to do an exercise together to discover all these uh, details. Okay, so uh, we are starting now a um, participatory activity uh, that is um, a modest input uh, uh, for a concrete, uh, concrete workout inspiration for your use. So for this activity, you will be divided into small groups with a moderator. And the idea of this exercise is to give you a concrete uh, example of how we can tackle these questions by handling the concept. So the goal is to explore and put into practice the complex nature of the driving forces and the um, related effect on your context that can be social or professional and in your areas of influence. So uh, you will handle and arrange a cause effect tree on Miro board. And you have two tasks to do. So uh, the first one, uh, you have to respond uh, collectively and um, uh, you have to decide of the three main driving forces um, that, uh, yes, that concern your context. So you will see on Miro board, you will have to move three uh, post-it in place A, B, C. Then individually, you have to answer to the second question and uh, by noting on the branches of the tree, uh, max two effect that you perceive, that you know, um, that are in accord with your uh, experience, your professional, personal context. So it would be nice that uh, one is uh, linked to short term um, uh, effect and the second one in long term, but you do what you can and what you wish. And finally, the mediator is start two or three, max four main effects that you have written on the post-it note, and then debate with you, debate with the, the group uh, to, to reach a consensus. And then we collect all the responses and we will make a, um, a short uh, overview of the, your responses. Um, as I said, this is just a... Uh, uh, a modest input to try to work together um, on something that is very known by by us in our environment, but um, uh, sometimes it's not very easy to formalize. Hmm? So just try to make this exercise together. So now um, Stefano and Valentina will divide us uh, in rooms and you will meet your moderator. Perhaps, Rafaela, there are some of you uh, 
have some question about the first presentation before to go uh, in the subgroup. No? Right. Okay, in any case, you held the floor after the after the the exercise, so you had the time to to express yourself later. So uh, the exercise will last uh, forty max uh, forty five minutes. So uh, I wish you a good job and see you later. Let's ask if uh, you can see that everybody uh, has reached the main room. Um, Okay, so now please, uh, we will give you a really a very over synthetic overview of each group uh, production in a few minutes. Just the time um, to collect all the trees, all the branches. So during this time, uh, we invite you to do a short survey. So, oh, yes. Uh, the goal is to just to to give an overview of the work of different groups. So I I try to share my screen, but uh, I have no the authorization. Did you see my screen? No. No. Try now, my Emmanuel. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Right. Okay. I think you see it's okay. Do you, do you see my screen? Yeah. So you have here the the work of the six groups. So the goal here is not to 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 read uh, all the different subgroup but just to give you an overview because we want to uh, summarize and to make a synthesis of this uh, work. And so you can see that um, uh, on the driving force that you have different manners of consider the driving forces and uh, some of uh, subgroups uh, deals with the global uh, climate change and or some of you um, didn't use it. So we have a different uh, manner of consider the different uh, uh, dimension of the driving forces. And for example, I give you the example of my group. Uh, it's just to, to explain that. Uh, in fact, I think we need to add some um, new dimension uh, and to explain some of uh, driving forces to be more concrete or more uh, precise in, for example, in community dynamics, we add legitimacy of who uh, stakeholders, um, who speaks uh, on mountain uh, future, for example, and so uh, who is uh, uh, as the legi legitimacy to speak about the future of the mountain resort. So we see that uh, we need to specify and to precise some uh, uh, dimension, and it, this is also the, uh, the added value of the exercise. And the second point is about share effect, um, because uh, we can see that uh, we have uh, some uh, share effect about tourism um, and the models of tourism with year-round tourism, so evolution of uh, touristic model or usual winter tourism no more possible. So we are uh, inside the Transstart project. And in the same time, we also share effect more, um, can we say that, um, a sort of representation of what we want to build as mountain uh, territory for the future. For example, about the build a narrative on mountain areas uh, and also to, yes, to have a sort of cooperation about the discussion for the future of the ski resort. So, we need to um, synthesize uh, to make a synthesis about the your answer, and to make also relationships between the reports of driving force, which is a scientific report, and also how to mobilize these driving forces, this synthesis in your 
um, area, new perimeter to work, for example, inside the territory or at a regional level in order to work on uh, driving forces and to see the interrelation between each uh, driving forces and how to react concretely um, with all the stakeholders in the, um, in the mountain resort. So it was just the first step about this um, uh, driving forces, but thanks a lot to participate in, uh, in the different subgroup. And Rafaela, I think you want to uh, summarize and to, to thank uh, everybody about the webinar. Uh, yes, just, just uh, if you can leave. Okay, thank you. I go back uh, to, the, to the share. Okay, so um, let's go there. Okay, so uh, before, uh, um, oh, sorry, just move this. Uh, I don't know if you can see. Okay, uh, in conclusion, and uh, before giving you the floor, here's a summary of our timeline up to April, 2024. Uh, we are currently working on the territorial diagnostic and preparing for the workshop in uh, Italy in April, next April where all the living labs uh, will be discussing their insights from um, the diagnostics, um, the solution that they are carrying on, and starting the process of scenarizing uh, uh, their design futures. Um, okay, so as Unimont is responsible for uh, uh, the Transtat uh, communication, uh, they provide regular updates on progress and events on the project web website and on the social media. So you can follow all the information uh, with this means. So thank you very much for your participation, your attention. Uh, we have a few minutes. The floor is for you. If you have any idea, suggestion, then please invite us to join you in your initiative um, for the future. Thank you very much. Uh, we are still here a few minutes. Thank you very much to you. Okay, so any... Right. Any question? Any curiosity from here? <laughs> Sorry, uh, Rafaela? Yes. Yeah, it, it is just a question or a suggestion. I, I don't know uh, which word is the correct one, but uh, I don't know if it is possible also, uh, uh, notwithstanding the deliver the, the deliverable which are done by inside the project, if it is possible to have a, a kind of uh, uh, scheme or a figure um, um, able to 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 express where we are now uh, at that time in the in the project. Uh, not for us, but also for for my uh, elected representative, in order to make them uh, inform uh, what kind of deliverable have been done mm -hmm. and 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 where what are the the next step inside the the project uh, as the time schedule of the project. Yes, of course we have uh, we have this timeline. Uh, this is an internal. Uh, uh, support that you use uh, with partners. Uh, here's is just uh, a very schematic. So you mm -hmm. can see, for example, in April we have uh, uh, we have uh, the first deliverable that is on the driving uh, forces, and in October we have the second one that is the guideline on how to implement, how to work uh, with core groups and living labs. So they are given. Uh, uh, after the validation of the report, so for the moment we can, uh, uh, so deliverable one correspond to uh, period uh, yeah. one, and so uh, this is, uh, we can uh, publish, we could publish it, on, for example, on the website, but we need to 
to to just to reflect to some mm. uh, uh, pedagogic way to to publish it and then uh, at the beginning of next year we will discuss with the responsible for deliverable one two uh, also for a pedagogical uh, uh, support to be to be published but uh, all this is a uh, on the line and um, as you can see we alternate with the workshop with living lab and then uh, with the uh, work on the ground that is long lasting uh, during this uh, crucial year uh, of the project nice okay good is there any question or uh... We can uh, go home. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. So thanks a lot. Yes. Thank you again. So do not hesitate to write to us or to go on, on our website. Thanks, Thank you. Everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.